Oh, it says we're live, so we must be live. <laughs> Take three. Pick a pulse, yep. All right, <laughs> uh, Aussie Big Chick here. It's Tuesday night. That means uh, build night. Hooray. Uh, yes, I was a well nut last week. It was my birthday. Um, didn't really celebrate it, just, just chilled. But I am back. Hurrah. I uh, have had holidays. I'm looking a little bit more relaxed. Back to work tomorrow. Not so yay. And um, I've got at least one friend here. We've got Jason. How, how are we all? Good. How's everyone in the chat, though? There's at least two of you. Three of you. Does one of them be you, Jason? Uh, I think I was a like, but I'm not in there at the moment because I'm on the uh, iPad. Okay, we have at least one lurker. Someone was hoping, yeah, someone was hoping I think you got your internet working. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Random task, yes. Sometimes he is my internet. Okay. So, um, not very much new Lego at the moment for me, but hang on, let me click on this. Hello, Johnny G. Um, I got this. Is my one and only birthday present. Oh, officially birthday Ooh. present. Baby dinosaurs. Yeah. Baby dinosaurs. My son bought this for me. There you go. Because he said it has the baby baby dinosaurs in it for you, Mum. So, yeah, I'm I'm guessing he bought that with his own money. Because he said, "Oh yeah, I don't have any money now, Mum." Thanks. And hello, Andrew Thornton. Hello, Jason Macklin. Hello, Random Task. Yes, it is a Sweet Lizard test set. So I will be building that one tonight. Oh, let's put me not on the big screen. And what have you been up to, Jason? Well, I was thinking I'm going to put this one together tonight. Ooh. Bit of Harry Potter. Nice. And Brick, of course. But apart from that, not much. Oh, well, there's nothing wrong with not much. Working. Working. Work, 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 work. Yeah. I mean, on holidays for a couple of weeks, it was nice while it lasted. So, um, so the uh, the Cairns Airport has a Lego shop. Oh yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about that while we were, while I was arguing with the internet. Do do we like my T-shirt that comes in adult sizes? It's not the only one, because I got sucked in by um, buy two for $40. Um, That's so, yes, uh, they had, I think it was grey or white, I think, in the Lego logo. And this one came in, oh, I can't remember. I'd have to have a look at picture. Now, and I do have pictures. Give me a second. Um, screen at screen, scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay. Um, yeah, I was surprised they had um sizes that were not as children's sizes. Well, the best color that they had was a blue, and it only came in kid sizes. So you can't really see it very well there, but there's like a whole bunch of different shirts. Well, Lego is now marketed for adults. It's, uh, it's yes. cool to be into Lego now, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So I think this one, I think this one also came in grey, but I chose the black. It'd be yeah. cool if they could, um, if they could do like their own printing where you could have like the base head and you could put your own face or choose your own sort of expression. Oh, to go that, that would be cool. I know they had those printed minifigures at some of the stores. Mm. It'd be cool if they could do something like that on demand, but I don't know whether or not, um, yeah, they would do something like that. But I was just shocked that a there was apparel for a start, yep. and b there was a Lego store at the airport. So um, for anyone who you know didn't didn't catch the last, I think I think when I mentioned it the last time or the time before, um, I went to Cairns. For a little, a little bit of a 
long weekend holiday and um, when we came into the Cairns Airport, uh, there was a shop that was closed up. Its roller doors were shut. We got there about, you know, I don't know, 12, 1 o'clock. And, yeah, the shop wasn't open. So I was like, we were looking around trying to find it because we'd heard that there was a Lego store at the Cairns Airport. And no Lego store. I was like, oh, okay, maybe it's not here. Maybe it's not open yet. Um, and it wasn't until we were headed home that we came across it. Um, wasn't much of a different time of day either. It was like an hour or two earlier and it was open. So, yeah, it had um, quite a decent range considering how small the st store was. I yeah. had a lot stacked into that space. And at the very back of the shop, they had these massive cupboards and there was even more stock inside of those cupboards in addition to what was on the shelves. Um, is something you'd want to grab when you're about to jump on a plane? Like, would you be, or you'd be yeah, taking I know. It was a bit bizarre because it wasn't like you could, you know, like most people already have their carry on all planned by that point. Mm. Um, and yeah, uh, we weren't in a position to, well, uh, well, as it was, um, what I bought, I bought the smallest things possible yeah. that could squish into whatever we were already taking. Um, I also found um, ice cube trays. So are they the, they're the brick ones, yeah? They're the brick oh. ones the, with the um, Lego logo on the inside. I don't know how well. Hang on. I'll put me on slightly bigger so everyone can see me, sort of. There's a Lego logo on the inside there. Cool. And you've got one by ones and one by two plates. Um, that silicone y stuff. Yep. But um, I could see probably maybe doing chocolate molds with it. Don't have very much call, call for um, ice. <laughs> I, I've got a friend who makes um, resin molds out of them and like <gasps> that's a brain mold and with a Lego brick, pink. Lego brick in the middle of it. That's cool. A pink one, like like brickheads. Correct, because they're nice. always on the mind. Yes. Nice. Okay. Um, what have we got going on in the chat? Uh, Random Task says he's going to try seven, six, eight, nine, five the Ferrari tonight. Good luck. I, I expect pictures. Yeah, they're, they're quite nice shirts. Um, they only did up to an XL, um, which fits me quite comfortably. So they're not, not tiny. Not tiny at all. Next time you yeah. have hands, I'll have to pop in there. Yeah, uh, they had quite a decent range, and they did have some of the, um, the uh, LCS exclusive um, sets. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, um, and, and you know, some sort of mid rangey kind of bigger sets too. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. So, would that mean that the Cherm side might potentially get some apparel or clothes? I don't know. Well, maybe they're not allowed to because there's too many t shirt stores. I don't know. Um, but these, these are definitely Lego branded ones, like, um, I don't know whether I'm assuming I'm assuming they outsource 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 apparel. That will be at the Levi store, so yeah. soon will they or yeah. well, they've got the little uh, Lego Lego on a tag on the um shoulder on the cuff. Yeah. yeah. And then there's uh a two by two on the um, tag as well. You can just see that. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that that's similar to yeah. I think I've got some that were sold at like what's it called Uniqlo or something like that or Uni Uniqlo. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And uh, yeah, they have all those little official tags on them, so they must be the Lego brand. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they do. Okay, all right. Well, seeing as this is a Lego building stream, I should build some Lego. 
if I can figure out how to open this. Yep. It has messages. Oh, yeah, they had a 20% 20, 20 discount as well. Um, I think that was like a store opening thing. They'd been open for a week or two at the point that we came across them. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I have a feeling that um, I, I might be taking my ice trays back to my boyfriend's house because they might actually get used there. Because <laughs> somebody has ice tonight. Okay. All right. Um, I'm not having very much luck getting into this box. <laughs> oh, this is this is gonna get trashed. Okay. Here we go. Damn. Tearing. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Nothing, no boxes get kept anymore. Well, okay. All right. That was a pretty full box. Not very much air in that one. You have an absolutely massacred folded up. It folded around the outside of the um, Lego. Fast. Ah, look at this. It's flat. That's pretty good. It's not crumples. So maybe maybe that worked. When and these are, the, these are the worst kind of stickers to crumple too because of the, the yeah. um plasticky ones. Yeah. Well when this arrived, it was in the big box with the Diagon Alley. And mm -hmm. Diagon Alley was just smashed. One end of the box was just crumpled. Oh, this no. rolling around inside, perfect. Yeah. So that's okay. Right? Okay. So what is this? Yeah. All that like half a bag of empty in that plastic bag. It's I funny think... get a few kicks in on the environment before they go all green and paper. Yeah, it's like kick you while you're down. Okay, so this one comes with two baby dinosaurs. And oh my god, it's so cute! Yeah, it's no baby Yoda. Yeah, but it's Triceratops. It's so cute. Okay. This would be an Amster Ian. Oh my god, the Ankylosaurus seem more adorable. Oh. Is that the is that the smaller of the two? It's so yeah. tiny. Oh my god, that, 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 that's gonna go on the biggest screen. Look, 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 look how tiny it is. Oh, but it's so adorable. It's adorable. Yeah, that's, cool. that's the detail on it. It's so cute. Oh, I like it. Now I want now I want a big mama molded one that's proper like that. I've got a baby and no mama. You could get uh, Bowser for Mario and pretend it's the mama. <gasps> Not the mama. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's let's open some things. Look. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> yes, adorable. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So I've got to open some more bags. Yeah, it's okay. Um, not too slow. It's called delay. The downside not being in the other room for me. Okay. Alrighty. Got lots of stuff going on in here. The stickers that aren't dead, which is good. 
Okay. Um, so it says I need to put some bricks together. Why am I not seeing anything that colour? Oh, there's one. And there's one. Okay. We take this brick and that plate and we put it in the hole. Apparently. And now, now we have a dinosaur with a stud on top. Okay. I'm looking at this and going, hmm, looks kind of, I don't know, the head of it looks like, very much like a, a babyfied version of the Triceratops we know and love. The, the, the body of it, hmm. This was the Triceratops that was just in the last round of? Yes, but it was also in the 2012. Um, so they made us they made us wait ages. So we got them we got Triceratops the first time as a molded um, dinosaur in 2012. Yeah. Um, and this is the first time we've got babies since. Um, well, the raptor was the, isn't it, or like all those little. Raptor, ba raptor babies? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about, like, from the first time. Um, yeah. I think the first time we got babies was, like, the little tiny itty-bitty T-Rex that didn't really look like a T-Rex. Yeah. It looked like a toy. Well, that's cute. But, oh, my God. I am so in love with Ankylosaurus. That is so cute. Oh, that's it. I'm done. I'm done building. I built my dinosaurs. <laughs> We're all done. That's all I wanted. I, 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 I'm happy. Who is this person? My brother is saying, hello, troll one. It's about time you turned up. Just just because I took my birthday off, I don't know, you all forget I exist. He's off his game. Yeah, he is off his game. I think he just assumed I wouldn't be here. Slack. Slack, slack, a slack. Okay, let's make some stuff. Even though the lazy part of me wants to go, done! <laughs> well okay. Done. Dino done. Done, done, done. There's not a whole lot of other bits of Lego in this anyway. Oh, and I probably should have made the minifigures too, hey? Skipping ahead, aren't they? Well, that was the wrong tool, so it was the wrong feet. Because it's just a sort of a mini little lab setup, isn't it? Yes. So we got the standard Owen looking thing. He has. I'm not sure what the things are. I'm like they kind of look like bombs, but they're probably not. A little bandolier thingy across his chest. Maybe egg things. I don't know. Just little things strapped across his chest. If anyone knows what they are, please do tell me. Yeah, I didn't. I'm just trying to think. In the movie, I don't think he had. Oh, this might be based on the um. Cartoon, I think. Cartoon, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not sure what they are, but they look like they might have little little um, things printed on them, but they're not very clear. Just like dots. And they're shiny, so they're metallic. Maybe canisters? Anyway. <clears throat> Anyone knows what they are, let me know. It's a poke pokeballs. Apparently, my brother says they're smoke grenades. Okay, I will, I will trust that you were correct. If anyone knows the truth, please feel free to correct him. Um, so, yes, like I was just saying, not a lot of Lego in here, but I'm guessing this is a smaller inset um, for a license. And you're, well, you're really paying the money for the dinosaur molds, aren't you? Yes, yes. And I'll be honest, um, I've really, like, since uh, my, you know, 
pretty much the whole last year of my life. Um, I've really cut back on the amount of Lego I've been buying because, you know, <laughs> budgetary concerns. Um, and also just, I don't know, it's not in the right headspace for it, I guess. Yep. Um, right, so these minifigures, they have two heads, two expressions. We've got Dr. Wu. I was going to say, are they Tasmanian, two heads? <laughs> oh, no. Dr. Wu and, yeah, um, Owen. At least he looks different from all the million and one other Owens I have, even if it is only slight. Okay, let's start building some stuffs. Okay. I, I expect that Ian will spend the next however long we're streaming just um, knolling all the Lego. <laughs> that, that, that's if he actually manages to get it out of the bag. <laughs> not not dissing you. Just, you know, you, you like to organize things. It's good. You can know my Lego anytime. Okay. Um, right. Okay. And a big, we've got some dark blue. Remember when dark blue was a relatively rare color? Mm -hmm. Not anymore. Which is good because I'm building a, an oversized um, a bluey brickhead and I need <laughs> lots of dark blue. <laughs> uh... When you get a photo showing that you know you know somebody really well. <laughs> Chris Evans well? Oh, who's Chris Evans? No, don't worry. It's a, it's a joke about Captain America. Oh, uh, well, please explain it to me. <clears throat> there was a bit of controversy. He was he posted something on Instagram showing a, a picture of his um, Instagram feed or his photo, you know, and there happened to be a um, a photo of of a body part in a oh. those oh, no. Insty, yeah. Oh no. Well that that's as bad as I heard a story about um someone's daughter who shall remain nameless who accidentally put posted up a very inappropriate body part of her mother's on Facebook. Her mother's Facebook on her phone. <laughs> Moral of the story, don't take those sorts of photos on your phone and leave it unlocked. Exactly. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, we laughed. Because that's all you can do, really. Eh. Oh, yeah, my brother's talking about Talking about model trains. Yeah, okay. You, you keep your model, model trains to yourself. But he's correct. His first love was model trains. In fact, he only got into Lego again because of Lego trains. He will argue that he never was out of Lego. <laughs> oh, we were all out of Lego at one stage or another, surely. Oh no, not everybody grows up. Um, boom, boom, boom. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, looks like I'm building some kind of a bench type thing. Okay. Um, um, bum, 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 bum. So you managed to do anything other than working 
quietly, Jason? Not really. Like um, my um, my one staff member is on maternity leave. So, oh. um, so it's just me, and we've we've become very very busy. So which is a good thing, but um, busy. Yeah, I think I finished at eleven o'clock last night, and I've been up and at work since four. So. Ooh, a long day. Yeah, gets to you eventually. <laughs> but, you know, i got to do it if I want to keep buying Lego. That's how I justify going to work every day. <laughs> yes, go to work for Lego, yes. So just cut out the middleman and go work for Lego. Yeah, well, that would be the, the way, wouldn't it? Although, would that do you think that would take the joy out of it? Like, if you were doing it all the time, nonstop, would you just get over it? Well, I mean, it depends. I'm, I'm sure that, you know, Lego has, like, lawyers and solicitors and, 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 and accountants and, you know, boring jobs as well. Yeah, that's true. And then, and then you can... <laughs> Then you can earn money from Lego, then spend it on Lego. And the circle is complete. Mm, dear. I gotta stop thinking. Less thinky thinky, more 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 buildy buildy. Hagrid's build is all black on black. And it's like, oh my god! In this light, I'm trying to tell: Am I putting things in the right place? Oh, oh dear. Okay. Um. Bum bum bum. Oh, I'm awake. Honestly, am I believable? Mm, I want those. Having fun trying to find the bits. Um, I know the other oh, area. Oh, uh, hi, Doc. Where is Stephen? I don't know. He's been living in, in, in the restrictions, in the lockdowns. Anything's possible. Okay. This calls for another sticker. Number two. What is number two? Two. Uh, sticker with a dinosaur on it. Are they the clear backed what stickers? No, thankfully. I hate those. Those are the worst. Because if you put a fingerprint on them, it shows through. Mm -hmm. uh, ever so unforgiving. And the plastic um, stickers are not my favorite because they're really difficult to place. Once they're down, they're down. There's no no returnsies from that. Okay. I think I put that one back to front. Damn it. Nope. No. That must be the right way. Unless, hang on. Oh, that one's back in front. Hang on. Orientation is important. Oh, there we go. It's so much easier if they showed you how it was supposed to be, but like, final before you... Okay. I'm just glad to be... um. 
building from an actual instruction paper instructions like i did all those mario sets a weekend ago and oh yeah the using the electronic system it's so annoying ah oh. you have to use digital instructions yeah they don't none of them come with an instruction booklet you got to go on the uh the app or find an electronic pdf That's not fun. Okay. So we got these little monitor things. Cool. Cute. Oh, Hagrid looks good. Yeah. He's actually in scale with the minifigure version of Harry. <laughs> oh, that's funny. He's funny because it's Okay. Oh, no, back to front. Uh, Jason, who is that question aimed at? Is that aimed at Jason? Jason, Jason. <laughs> What's that? Jason Hi. Macklin is asking, how's the build? Which build? There are two happening. I'm, I'm hazarding a guess he means you. Hagrid was a good build. I some new, different ideas there. Oh, gosh. I like the um, the style of the long jacket. I'll be stealing that. More stickers. Oh, he said both of us. He's an equal opportunity questioner. Okay, this one is a see-through one. Bane of my existence. Eventually, I'll have to put this on the computer so I can actually see the, the chat. It's a bit hard on the iPad to see the chat and... Mm. No. I'm just I'm just there properly. Right. It's, What's wrong? Really, it's really, really hard to line something up straight. On something clear, clear on clear. I hate clear stickers. And clear stickers on clear things is even worse. Well, oh, that's it. For better or worse, it's done. And the worst thing is when, when you have to pull it back, it gets all these little tiny fractures in it. It's no longer perfect. You have to get it right the first time. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that with all these little micro ripples in them. It looks probably looks fine on your on the screen. If I show you now. Probably looks fine from your perspective, but there's all these little tiny itty bitty. Like, they almost look like scratches all the way across. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh, well, I will have to live with it because I did it. Should they, uh, <laughs> they include two sticker sheets each time so that if one gets damaged in transit, you got a backup, or if you stuff one up, you can... They'd probably stuff both of them up. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. Uh, although there have been a couple of times where I have, have actually gotten sets that have had two sets of stickers in them. That does happen. The ones I hate are always the um, the Star Wars ones that go on the um, the tile plate with the studs around the outside. So you have to like stick, you know, mm -hmm. R2-D2's little details. And it's really hard to line up perfectly and... Okay. All 
Uh, I'm going to be... <laughs> I'm going to be a little bit brave. I'm putting the StreamYard uh, link through for anyone who would like to join us on the panel tonight. It may or may not work because the internet has been misbehaving for me today. But that's just a Tuesday. It's, is it school holidays at the moment? Yes, it is in Queensland. So there's, you know, all those extra people using the internet Oh, yeah, that, but that's just normal. Uh, bag one, nulling done. Well done. Just, I just got sent a picture of, of, of progress. Good progress. Okay. Dum, dum, dum. Oh, there we go. That goes over that. A little, ooh, it's a shiny grill piece, but it's not shiny, shiny, just a metallic pearl. You see, I used to get joyous when I'd find pieces like that because I use them for my um micropolis builds. Oh yeah, because you always get at least one spare when you're building yep. a set. So it's like, ooh, one more. <clears throat> That's like the amount of spare um brickhead eyes I have just from all the extra eye that you get in every set. Oh yeah. I'm sure I've got some of those scrolled away somewhere. But that's the problem when your life is in boxes. You can never quite find where they are. One day, one day, I will have space again. Not holding my breath. Oh my gosh. Somebody's built a minifigure. Woo, go you, good thing. Okay. Oh, no work. Oh, I'm trying to find another piece, just like the piece that I just picked up. Do you think I can find that piece? No. Nope. Nope. And it's probably staring me right in the face. That is really annoying. Mm. You got two eggs in this. Nice. Oh, does this have the little incubator set up? Um, yeah, I think it does have a little incubator. It's like the tiny one. They got little eggs. Ixies. I can't find it. Where are you? Not under there? No. Um, hate when this happens. Oh, there it is. It was staring me in the face the whole time. Okay. Up and that and oh, some more dark blue. That's the one thing that um, Jurassic World gave us was a lot of dark blue. <clears throat> and I guess Lego Lego Movie Two had a lot of dark blue in it, like the big ship the big um excelsior and things like that or the yes wreck. but when you sit there and you think about it those are colors that are related to jurassic world yeah so i don't know whether that was like a you know a callback to that's a color that's oh. so 
get rid of dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, definitely, because obviously that's part of the character, yeah. Yeah. And even the dinosaurs were dark blue. Yeah. That was pretty clever. Okay. All right. So I'm making the incubator now. Let's just put little brown, brown cork, green things. And then two little eggs. So no spare eggs in this. I'm supposed to click on delete. Come on. There we go. Okay. Oh no. Round things roll. <laughs> yeah, your computer table is not the best choice for Lego building. Uh, um, um, yeah, just uh, next time, maybe put down like a tea towel or something. It just, just helps them to not roll off the edge of the table. I only say that because the guys that do the, the great ball contraptions, they, they, they put towels underneath things to stop things from bouncing off the table. <laughs> Well, that's what I've realised I need to do up here on the, the like the standing station is just put a little lip around mm. the edge so that when I tip the bags out, they don't all just shoot straight off the table and have to sort of walk around to find them all. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, I must admit, even though I've got a, a tablecloth on top of this, stuff does occasionally roll off, but it doesn't roll off as readily as it would be if it was just table and not tablecloth. But yeah, I feel for you. Can you hear me? Oh, it's going to suck. Oh, teddy bits. This looks complicated. Um. Let's play the get this the right way around game. And it goes, put this bit here and then that bit there and this orientation and I'm not generally very good at that. Okay. Think positive, you can do it. Be positive, yeah, it's not just a blood type. Okay, I think I got that right. Yay! Okay, we get to play with an inverted slope and a thingy with a thingy on it. I'm getting real technical now. I was going to say, you sound like you're using my terminology. It's like, I need that thingy piece, you know, the one that looks like. You know, the one with the do, you know, do hickey in the, yeah, that. It's like mum and her dots, studs are dots. You can, ne ne never try cor correcting her, you, you will lose the argument. Yes, I could believe so. <laughs> You've met my mother. <laughs> okay. Ah. And we get to use, so we've, got, we've got modified plates of clips. There and there, and then we've got these thingies with a little handle they do be wacky. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. And if you got them right, you can put them on the right direction. 
Hooray! I think these are supposed to look like a claw, a thing to grab things. Is it? A, it's the little. Um, I think in the movie there's like a little robotic arm that turns the <laughs> the eggs around. Mm -hmm. so it just gently mm -hmm. turns them in the the heat. Mhm. Mm yeah, I think it might be that. To stop them from scrambling. Stop them from scrambling. So you open that thingy, and you do that thingy, and then you can pretend to turn them because you can't actually turn them. But there we go. It fits this little arm thingy. It grabs the it looks like it grabs the egg. But it is not a play feature. But it is a play feature in that you can put the arm down there as if it was doing the thing. Yep. But you cannot turn the egg with it. All right. Okay. It says turn the whole thing around. Okay. We're going to make a thing with some things. Okay. We're going to utilize the, the minifigure plate stand thing with the, the stud. You're, you're, you're listening to descriptive audio commentary on how to build Lego. So you're yes. going to put thingy things and you're going to put the thingy thing and turn the thing around. <laughs> <laughs> Hokey pokey. <laughs> like there's there's a Braille Lego for the blind because I think they'd struggle with our descriptions. I know, right? Yeah, so... So the minifigure stand plates that have the studs down the middle, the four studs down the middle. Yep. It's interesting to see them um, utilising that. Okay, apparently I have to put stickers on it first. So it says three and four. In what way? This is not easy. Okay, so three goes there. And four goes on the other side. Just need to make sure that you get them the right way around. And hello, Justin Cranston. No, it's not the ABC Dot Show. We're doing Jurassic World. Oh, just for something different. Okay, and then that one goes there. That's all sideways. Damn it. No. No. This is very awkward. Okay. Right. Hooray. Okay, now I get to put some studs on studs. And some little gear shifty things if I can find them. Now we've got some black gear shifty things. Okay. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. I dropped one. Luckily, there's a spare one right here. So you can recreate the scene. Doesn't it get its head chopped off before they go back in time and save it? I don't remember. Such a long time ago. Huh, oh, back in time. <laughs> What's this? Oh my god, she discovered a different theme. Okay. Justin, dinosaurs is my thing. 
Dots was a side trip. Okay, that is supposed to go in there. Oh, okay. Oh, how clever. Goes on the back. I don't know how well you can see that. Oh, there we go. Like that. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ian is now doing a, a small, was it doing a Donald Trump, Trump and building a small Lego wall to stop escaping round pieces? <laughs> that works also. <laughs> I will build a wall. I will build a wall and the Lego pieces will pay for it. Yes. Uh, Douglas. Douglas is asking if anyone knows about foil drives, the difference between a live, live front diff and a fixed centered diff. No idea. They sound like words. I do not know what they mean. Ooh. You made a thing. Yeah, made a couple more things for the, the wall of things. And the thing. Yay. Bought some random minifigures the other day and finally getting around to open them. A few yeah. Classic space, but the one with the um the zip across the front, sort of. Oh yeah. And my first Indiana Jones figure. Nice. Where'd you get these from? Um Oh, uh, what's that? Those guys that do the um, the one at Strathpine and stuff, the secondhand bricks. Um, oh, brick resales. Yeah, brick resales. That's the one. Yeah, I wonder how well they're doing with all COVID. You know, not being able to have events. I think they've been doing them all virtually. Virtual events. Well, they, I think they sort of, it still happens on a weekend and they put stuff up for sale. And, you know, there are some limited things and there's competitions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I, I bought, um, I think, a thousand Duplo bricks and I. I've unfortunately run out and I'm just a little shy of finishing my my display from last year's brick bench and the new and improved version. But I need probably another hundred Duplo bricks, two by twos. Oh. That would do it. Oh, okay. The other day, a thousand Halloween stickers. Oh, cool. Okay. Holding a box. Justin asks, so Jason, got, get any new ideas on what to build? Yes, I got, I got many ideas. I, I posted something on Oslog the other day and um, looking for ideas for brickheads. And there was quite a few that 
I already had in my sort of ideas book and uh, there was a few ones that I hadn't thought of. Karate Kid I'm really interested in doing in the um, the crane pose, like with the arms up and one foot raised. So oh, Cool. Yeah, that would be neat. I've already done a couple of sketches for that one. But there was, yeah, there were some good ideas. I sometimes forget that I have different tastes to everyone else, so I, I occasionally put it out to the general public to see what they're interested in. Yeah. I might do this one now. This is a quick one. What's it called? It's the just a little fairground set. Oh yeah. Ah, more technique things. Put a thing in a thing and then put a thing on that thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, Justin says, I ran out of ideas, but I know my missus would kill for Wednesday Adams. That would be cool. Wednesday, yeah, I think the Adams family would be a good one done in black. I would do it in black and white personally because I, I preferred the old uh, TV show in black and white, but Wednesday would be good. And then, of course, you could just have thing with, you know, just uh, a two by two in skin tone and uh, and the hand piece on it, and that's it. You're done. <laughs> Clever. Two of the little blue bears in this, which are pretty cool. Ooh. Now, where does this go? Oh, I think I think. Oh, my gosh. Hmm. They're getting off the Lego top for a, for a second. Mm -hmm. My can can strip was nice. Um, and to this lovely little place called Paranella Park, middle of nowhere. Like, uh, clearly it was on the highway at some point before the highway got diverted. And um, it was built in the 1930s and it had like these um, like little castle type structures but they were like made out of concrete and reinforced stuff but it was sort of like yeah. more like Spanish fort type things. Yeah. Yeah, in the middle of a rainforest in Cairns. Well, actually an hour south of Cairns. So really in the middle of nowhere. Did you you posted something with the the big cow? Where where did that come from? Oh, the big cow used to live in Yandina, and then it had to be moved. Um, I think it was donated to a place up 
um, near Toowoomba. Oh, okay. And they just reopened it. So, yeah, it had been in disrepair and um, unloved for many years. Much like this park that I went to, which sat derelict for about, I think it was 20 or 30 years? 20 years? Something like that. From the um, 70s through to the 90s. Yeah, about 30 years. It sat I there. I to it as a kid. Hey? Because my parents would take us to all of those sort of things. Like, there were weird medieval castles that we used to visit in Australia that are now all derelict yeah, ghost towns. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like Mal World. Like what world? Mike and Mal, you know, the Leyland brothers. Oh, oh yeah. I, I, I get what you say. Yeah. They used to have their own theme park. No, not anywhere near Dream World level, but mm. you know. And all the big things used to be good. The big cow and the big lobster big, and the big shark. The big pineapple's still there. So it is still there? Yeah, yeah. Does it still have the little macadamia train? No. 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 All, all the other stuff um, was sort of like uh, made derelict. I think the, the little cane trainy type one with the little carriages still goes, but not the macadamia one. No. Hmm. Oh, hi, Keith. So what else did you see in uh, in sunny old Cairns? Um, we also went to the, the um, oh, flipping it. I can't remember the exact title of it, the Military Museum there. Where I have this big shed, like huge shed. And, um, yeah, like all these uh, tanks and armoured trucks and uh, this and that and the other thing. And, yeah, <laughs> I'm wishing I had, like, the uh, name of the person that was there with me. Uh, the Australian Armour and Artillery Museum. Thank you, Keith. <laughs> yes, I, I, I have the, the, the right kind of geeky friends that just happen to pop up as I'm talking about things that are <laughs> relevant. <laughs> Yes, um, huge, huge shed. Um, well, it wasn't too hot considering, and uh, they have these big fans, so it wasn't uh, air conditioned or anything like that. But they had some, yeah, very interesting tanks and um, being told, you know, what the different things are all about, and it was quite fascinating. They had, um, um, lots of other smaller stuff too, like things like, um, guns and bombs and things that I probably shouldn't say out loud on YouTube. <laughs> Demonetized. Uh -oh. Yeah, and um, they had a um, place where you could shoot guns as well downstairs. Okay. Um, so it was interesting watching other people do that. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so, oh, if it was here with me and not elsewhere, um, I'd be able to show you some of the things that we got from there. Um, we got uh, a couple of um, postcards, uh, you know, the, the kind like, you, you know, like when you were a kid, those, those things that had all the little lines and it showed two different pictures. Oh, lenticular or... Kind of like that, but it was really only just showing it so it was dimensional. Oh, okay, yep. Quite, quite, um, quite fancy. Um, a couple of couple of those with with some tanks on them and uh, a magnet reminding us of um, Armour Fest for next year because apparently it was on this year. I felt for sure that it would be cancelled, but no, apparently it wasn't. Um, they still drove the tanks around. They just didn't have other people. Ah, oh, Fresnel lens, apparently. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, sorry, random comment. Um, yeah, they had the tanks going around, but they weren't doing rides this year, apparently, was, um, what I was told. So, yeah. Next year, maybe, if COVID behaves itself. 
Well, it was live streamed. Oh, okay. Is it still on the internet somewhere? <laughs> Probably is. Um, yes, uh, we also went to the markets. The night markets in Cairns were interesting. <laughs> we found um, this this place that did a fish spa. <laughs> Oh, that's not oh. the one where you feed in with little fish. Oh. They not bombs on you. It is the no. oddest sensation until you get used to it, and then you're just like, "Oh yeah, this is cool." And towards the end, you're like, "Going, hey God, you're knowing me a bit hard." <laughs> uh, um, they they're like night feeder fish. So what they do is they they cover up the tank and make it dark. And then you're all feeder in there and they just nobble the dead skin. And, <laughs> and then they take the lights on and they go, oh, my God, I've been eating human flesh. This is awful. Um, think of the poor yeah. fish. Oh, no, no, the fish think it's great. The fish are well yeah. taken care of. But, yeah. Um, the, um, this leads to piranhas. Soon they'll be, you know, eating cows in 10 seconds. Well, put it this way, the guy was like, oh, I've got to check your feet first. So he checks for, like, you know, if you have any any feet conditions. No, 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 things like tinea or um, um, funguses and stuff like that. Like, you can't have funguses underneath your toes because that's not healthy for the water. And, um, yeah, and then, then I had this one little sort of, you know, little graze on, on my ankle, you know, like the lower part of my ankle towards my foot. And he's like, I'm not going to put a band aid on that. I'm like, I, I'm like, thinking, okay, that seems a bit excessive. Then I felt the fish nomming on my dead skin. I'm like, going, oh, I'm so glad for that band aid. Oh no, the fish got into my bloodstream. <laughs> it's swimming around in my vein. Ah. Oh no, no! I think I think if they tasted blood, they would have gone numbing a bit harder in tender spots. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So that that was an experience. Um, there, there were a few empty stalls there, but um, yeah, enough enough that were open to you know look around and go, oh yeah, that's cool, that's cool. We also went to the markets at Coranda. We didn't yep. do the train thing because um, we weren't sure there very much was at the other end to make it worth going. So um, we'd hired a car to go to um, Paranel Park, which was about an hour and a half away. Yep. So we kept the car and went to, we decided instead of going to the aquarium, um, not much, much sad, um, we went to Coranda Markets instead. And that, that was fun. That, that was cool. Um, is the Coranda one the one that has the the cable car that goes up to the top or something? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. And there's also the railway. So um, I was talking to a friend the other day and she said, oh, um, did you do the cable car? I was like, no, no, didn't do the cable car, didn't do the train because we didn't know whether or not there were things at the other end because, you know, COVID's made things all a bit you know, wishy yeah. wishy. And... Um, yeah, I think I saw the store that sells the chocolate coated coffee beans. I was got some very nice coffee at Paranel Park that I probably could have gotten from Coffee World, but Coffee World wasn't doing their tours, so we didn't go there. Um, that oh, was that. Was them. They weren't that. Yes, um, Coffee Coffee Works rather Coffee Works, not Coffee World. Um, they used to do like tastings and stuff like that, but because of COVID, they've they've discontinued that. But you can still go out and buy stuff and yep. eat at the cafe uh, but it wasn't worth the drive for just you know sitting and eating at the cafe um yeah so that was a bit of a downer but oh well next time maybe um what else do we do we also went out to the great barrier reef and we did snorkeling that was a very very wonderful experience cool yeah never done that before um, I've snorkeled, but only in a pool. So um, big out in the uh, big wide ocean. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess it'd be a bit weird compared to like if you're in a pool, you can see the edges and it. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, well, when, when you're in like you know coral <clears throat> things like the first one we went to was like here's the coral dip 
down and you swam in the dip. Um, and the, the second one we went to, you swam around the coral because it was um, low tide. A lot, the tide was going down, so yeah, yeah. water water was lower. Yeah. Anyway, uh, side trip on on building things. So I should keep going. <laughs> oh, that was the other thing we did on the way back from Coranda. We had spotted this place that did um, laser tag and go karts, and unfortunately, we'd worn sandals instead of clothes and shoes. So. No go karts was very sad because I was oh, watching God. some of the grown ups doing that, and that was so much fun. Yeah, next time. Um, at least there are places to go kart closer to home, and that yes, yeah, so I was like, okay, we'll do laser tag. And it was like, you know, a couple of kids' parties in there, and they're like, going, oh, so do you want to go in one on one against each other? I'm like, oh, looking at it, and going, oh, I'm not going against the guy who learned how to use a gun. <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> I, 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 will, I will go and gang up on the kids that are at, at, at like, you know, the end of the gun height. <laughs> Let me go and shoot some small children, please. <laughs> kill, 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 kill. Demonetized, demonetized. Yeah, I know, totally demonetized. Um, but, yeah, no, the kids thought it was great. They're like, oh, yeah, we, first, we did two rounds. Two session, two two, whatever you call them, session things. Yep. First time it was all the kids ganging up against three adults, and we still beat them. Only just, and they outnumbered us. And um, the second time, I think we were all in pair. We were paired off, and I think I I uh, because he showed me things that I was supposed to do. I actually got the highest point score. In the oh. second one, you just held right. a little kid down and just kept shooting him. And shooting him. <laughs> no, no, they had like you know capture capture the flag type areas. Oh, yeah. Yep. So yeah, you went and you shot. You know, you did the pew 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 at that, and you got extra points for doing that. So, but goodness, little kids, they sneak up on you. And they shoot you in the back, so you run after them and. <laughs> I'm hitting you in all the spots. Where's your friend? <laughs> uh, I don't gang up on little kids. They were asking for it. Yeah, totally. They, they, they thought it was great. They had a great time. They loved it. And every so often you get one that like fully run full pelt into you and you'd be like, are you okay, man? <laughs> and I'd run off. Just excited to be there. Oh, uh, I think you just stunned them for a minute and then they were off. Run! Run! But, you know, the, the, the mum gene in you kicks in and you're like, are you okay, small person? Yes? Okay. Now I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> no, I, 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 I'm kind. I'd already shot them anyway. Oh, you put them down on the ground just and then ask them if they're okay. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't like that, really. What else I know? Hmm. You, you you had this this thought that I was this nice kind person. No, I'm not. I'm not competitive at all. Honestly, I wanted to do go cuss. Uh, is everybody asleep in the chat? Uh, are we bored listening to me talk about holidays? And I apologise to my friends that are in places where they can't holiday. You will get your time. Yeah, it's not that great. No, I, I got sunburn on the Great Barrier Reef. I, 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 I was supposed to be wearing a wetsuit and then, um, yeah, I didn't end up wearing the wetsuit and then I didn't end up applying sunscreen where the wetsuit was, so, yeah. Everybody's asleep. Okay, wake up!
Jason is still living to chat. Well done. You you get a virtual jelly bean. Not redeemable for real jelly beans. Running out of things to build that are in reaching distance. Hmm. But I think the weirdest thing out of it all was getting on a plane. Oh, yeah. How did that work? Do they have separated rows or? No, they do not. Stop oh. Queensland at least. Not while you're within Queensland. No, no, no separated rows. Full plane. Um, when you've lived in, you know, times of, you know, everybody everybody should be social distancing, then get on a plane and you're like literally shoulder to shoulder with the person beside you and like the in inward voice in, in your head is like slightly freaking out going, this isn't okay, this isn't okay. But um, what they do do is they give you um, a little... Um, what do you call it? I'll think of it when it no longer matters. A little pack that has like antiseptic wipes and um, a mask. And I looked at the mask and went, hmm, yeah, if anyone has COVID on this plane, everybody is effed anyway. Because <laughs> this mask ain't going to do diddly squat. But at least you'll go down looking like a bush ranger. <laughs> True. So um yeah, so put mask on. Uh yeah, that that yeah. And then like you're on the plane, they're like saying, Oh, please, please avoid walking around the plane unnecessarily. So like, you know, if you have to go to the toilet, go to the toilet, but don't get up just for the fun of it. Um, stay in your seat. So two and a half hours of do 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 <gasps> Oh yeah. Yeah, load him up, squeeze him in. That's about accurate, Justin. So, yeah. Because hmm. I, I did wonder how that would work because we've only got a little plane out here and I was thinking if you have to space everyone out, there'd only be about 10 people in the plane. Yeah, and it wouldn't be very economical at all. No. Um, but, yeah, um, so it, it was it was odd going to the airport. Um, it seemed really normal. Uh, we went and waited for the plane. Yeah, standard flight. So, yeah, waited for the plane like normal. There was, like, plenty of people like normal, you know, other than the occasional. Um, that must be uh, certain destinations that are considered vulnerable where it yep. was actually compulsory to wear a mask that was provided. Um, but other than that, there was nothing stopping anyone. No, definitely no lawn bowls in the aisle. Uh, and yeah, and the, the uh, air stewards uh, also wore masks and gloves for everything. So I guess that was good in a way. But um, yeah, and like n no sort of screening getting on the plane. I'm like thinking, um, would it make sense to screen people before they get on the plane instead of waiting until they get to their destination? And you get we're we're starting to come down to Cairns and it goes and, and it's like, oh yeah, when you come to Cairns, there will be a screening, blah 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 blah. If you're from you know, if you're a Queensland resident, you can expedite this process by having your license out, showing your address, um, your Queensland license and your address, and uh, everything would be great. So got off the plane, flashed our licenses at the Australian Federal Police. Oh, sweet. Off you go. But then you look to the right and there's like this gathered crowd of um, Australian Federal okay. Police officers waiting for that one person that, you know, possibly could be coming that shouldn't be there. So that, that we're taking um, biosecurity very, very seriously. So, yeah, um, didn't really see any of that in Brisbane at all. It was just all at the other end. So, yeah. And um, 
I guess once you're there, there was none of that getting back on the plane. And when we got to Brisbane, it was like it was like dead. Like oh, the, the airport seemed really empty. Oh wow. And we landed at the international airport and then they drove us around to the domestic, which was uh, an odd um an odd thing to experience, but I guess well, yeah. I guess you wouldn't have too like you'd only have flights from in Queensland, wouldn't you? They'd only be sort of up and down the coast and from out here in Long Beach coming back to Brizzy. Oh. Are they flying interstate, are they? Um, there must still be interstate flights, but I'm guessing they're limited. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there must still be international flights coming from somewhere because the mail's gotta move and stuff like that. So yeah. And hi, Steve. Well, we, hey. we've got a lot of tourists out here at the moment. They've all arrived in their droves for the uh, school holidays. So there's lots oh, of yeah. grandparents and kids and, and everyone in between. That's good. So long as none of them are carrying any germs that they shouldn't. <laughs> but, um, you know, we, we went and we did our thing. We, we you know, spent our money and, and did our, our holidays in Queensland. Excellent. Um, yeah, normally, normally boyfriend would be going overseas at this time of the year, but no overseas travels. So yeah, yeah, that might be off the cards for a little while as well. Well, I was reading today at least a minimum of another six months before the bubble to New Zealand opens. So, um. Yeah, so said to him that um, when you know New Zealand travel is a thing and you know, we're free to, to do so, that um, yeah, I, w I would take him and show him New Zealand because that's where my family's from. Oh, this has a little printing on it. <laughs> the amber. Oh, that's the, it's amber. got the mosquito on it or something like that. Yeah, yeah, the mosquito and the amber. That's Hi, cool. Corey 77 uh, J Johnny T is asking, can Jason show that big Lego knight behind him? Please. Lego knight. Oh, that is cool. So he's a 3D printed... Comes apart. Okay. This comes with a little, little laptop. That you put a sticker on. I was going to say, is that a sticker? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you put a sticker on. Oh my gosh, the baby bottle. So that was the little um, the little cans are just there, so you can shoot them down. But it's the little fairground attraction. Ah, oh, cool. So you can win a bear. Okay. And apparently that's an exclusive print. It's like a little um my little pony style unicorn pink oh, thing cute. on it, on the shirt. Okay, so I do believe I'm finished also. Well, okay. So this is supposed to be a desk thing. There's so many bits that like to fly off. Well, like the laptop, like, like it sits on a flat part of the desk because, like, it doesn't have studs anyway. And then we've got all of this as well. Well, that doesn't look too bad. So play area, and then you've got the little thingy that does the thingy with the egg. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, 
the back of the book shows you all the other sets that you might want to get. Yes, they're all in the the room of shame. Um, I don't actually have any of the other other sets. These are these are the newer ones. And that is it. I am done building. Hooray! That wasn't too bad. It's not not a bad little set. Worth it for the dinosaurs. Sorry? It's worth it for those dinosaurs. Um, considering I didn't pay for the set yet. It was my birthday present. Well, that means you can go out and actually buy another one just to get some extra dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love your logic. But, yes. Um, so, hang on. I'll put it back. Put, put, this, put me back on the big screen for a second. So, there's there's your two baby dinosaurs. Give an idea of scale. They're very cute. Show the lizards. Yeah, so you got the little baby Ankylosaurus with a cutesy little face, but it's not a friend's one, so that's good. And little baby Triceratops. They're also Wait, very cute. Is the Ankylosaurus on like home arrest or something? He's got like the, the ankle bracelet. That was bad. That was so bad. <clears throat> oh, well. Uh, apparently, that was a rule in Cairns. Everyone ha ha has to wear an anklet, you know, ankle bracelet. Oh, really? So it's a beach thing. Oh, well, they're pretty, like, because the Dane Tree's up there, isn't it? Uh, no, the, um, all the hippie commune and everything, so they're pretty laid back. Peace, love, and mung beans. Peace, love, and mung beans, yes. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, the two brickheads came out pretty well. They're cool. Got his little pink brolly. Nice job. Hmm. There we go. All built. Everyone has been regaled with the tales of my holidays. Uh, pretty much over now. Cairns Tourism will be, you know, knocking at your door to... Thanks for the promotion. Oh, that, that's, that's, the, that's the funny thing is since, since I've been away to Cairns, now it keeps on going, oh, yeah, you want to go to Cairns, hey? How about you go to Cairns? I'm like, I've already been to Cairns. Stop listening to my conversations. Well, yes, it was lizards and lizards. You can see big tanks in a shed. You can shoot children. And you can uh, look at concrete uh, forts. Concrete, that are, uh, concrete forts in, 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 in the rainforest. And you can get Lego uh, t-shirts at the, uh, at the airport. At the airport. Why do you need to leave the airport? Just fly up, go to the, get the t-shirts, and then fly back. If I, was like, yeah, if I was going to do that, I would just hit up one of my friends that live nearby and say, yeah, yeah go to the airport, buy me these things, thank you. I have, mm. one. I have one of those and one of those. Uh, I want to know, cheap deal, obviously, is stop up with pricing. I have no idea what you're talking about. And somebody has completed bag one. Hold well on. You get a pat on the back. Which, which set is being built? Uh, Ferrari something something little. Um, I think it's Speed Champions. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. Looking at the size of it. Yeah. Coolio's. Oh, we have been here for about an hour and a half. I've built my thing. He's built his thing. Uh, FIFO Lego Shopping. Oh, yeah. 
That could be why the airport. Yes, that, that would make sense. Yeah, because FIFO workers don't carry very much stuff with them. So they could probably yeah, I guess have a Lego set. Haven't seen the family for 14 days on, so I better take a Lego home for little Timmy. <laughs> hey, Timmy, I'm your dad. <laughs> Here's a Lego set. <laughs> you remember me? Yeah, I'm your dad. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, I do believe on, on that note, it may be time to say goodnight, boys and girls, and hit the red button. Um, I will endeavor to be here next week. I promise nothing and deliver as much as I can because these are bizarre times, boys and girls. So stay safe out there, and um, I will see you next time. Keep an eye out on my Facebook page. I will let you know when I'm on again. All right, ready? Three, two, one, boop. Good night.